John from Smoky Mountain RC. We got an oldie but a goodie here. The Leader 480 by e -Flight. This is actually a balsa wood plane. Had a good friend of mine, John, give this to me. Uh, when he actually gave it to me, he gave me a Power 15 with it. Uh, all spectrum servos. I, only thing I did use different was a free wing servo on the elevator throw. <coughs> uh, we're flying with a 4S uh, 2800. SMC lithium high voltage, and I've got a 60 amp Avian Smart ESC in there. I've had this thing for a little while. You got telemetry then too, then. Yep, yep. Well, yeah, you got an Avian, you do. 16.9. It's not smart, battery. Well. We'll have to do, yeah. Well, you got it, but we can do auto config, and yeah. the boats will come up on it. So unfortunately, I'm taking off and nothing with this thing. What if it gets up there and this thing is backwards, and we have to land it and nothing? Well, it's... All right. I've well, never flew one, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go. It's first could be good, I've could be bad. <laughs> but we're prepared for whatever's about to happen. You ain't got a fortune in it, so. Shoot. I get it on that power before you put it in safe. Is it charging? Like... Yeah, it's the ESC in it. It's safe. Cool. Well, it's... Looks like it's working pretty good. It's hard to see, though. Yeah. Why is it surging like that? Because you don't have to adjust the ESC voltage on it. You need some up trim. That's some better. Yeah. yeah, it needs some up trim. Still need up trim? Yeah. Pretty fast. Shoot that thing smooth, man. Shoot, yeah, as smooth as it can be. Now guys, I don't know what a battery or flight time like this thing should be, so I'm gonna to try to go around three and a half minutes. Well you got telemetry so Scroll it over. It is a good flying plane. This is the first boss of plane that I ever had. I think it's actually flying pretty good there. That's no elevator input. Yeah. So one thing about this guys is it is boss of wood. And it did take me a while to build this compared to something else. And when I talk about a while, I'm talking probably a couple weeks of working on it a little bit here and there in my spare time. But that is the first time that I've ever built anything. Yeah, I think we need to calibrate the ESC. Okay. We had it on a five minute timer and I've been flying it about two and a half minutes. Yeah, I'd be setting up. So, what I'm going to do is. It's going to land easy. Plus, you can do reverse oh, thrust. Yeah. Plus, you can do reverse. Oh, no, you ain't got enough. Yeah, you do got enough channels. You can do reverse thrust. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Because I don't think you guys should have to have a channel channel. Okay, so we're going to come around here for a little landing. I don't think this is going to be a very difficult plane to land, but you do want to be mindful that uh, when you do a BL-15 conversion, it is a little bit bigger of a prop than the other one. So when you land this thing, you want to try to land it lightly, or you're going to incur some prop strike. You see how I'm getting behind them trees right there, Jim? And you can't see it?
There you go. Not bad, not bad. That was a bad ass, John. That was a great land. Thank you. <laughs> you want to fight now? No, not a little bit. It fought really good. Yeah. It fought in. I'm going to go down there and turn it around, though. Why? You're right there in front of that other road. Go up and then go go all the way over to the road and go right. You in high rate? Yeah. Take it out of sight. There it is. Good all right. Well, anyway, guys, there we have it. <laughs> killer, killer plane. John's going to have to go get it. We're going to we're gonna do some adjusting on the, on the thing to get it to turn a little sharper. But, yeah, anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed it. Until we do it again, say fine. God bless. Bye-bye-bye.